um, I would like to share some thoughts about India because I've just watched uh, two videos about Indian individuals speaking one on, on the website on the channel TED about the, the situation of farmers in India and another on the Joe Rogan experience with um, Sad Guru, um, an Indian wise man. And I know myself to be what Hegel calls reason, which means that the world which is confronting me is my world, and I can only make peace with myself and with the world by finding myself in the world by understanding the world and as an individual as an empirical individual i am limited my my knowledge my my intelligence my faculties are limited and it's a, a, a very difficult task to understand the whole world when you are a limited individual but as long as i can i will try to transform my experience of the world into into thoughts knowing that my thoughts are tainted by the the sensuous aspect of my existence as as kant would say it, i am not capable of producing producing a purely rational purely logical speech because i am influenced by my senses so i unconsciously mix sensuous impressions uh, with logical categories but i will try to to, to understand the world and to, to understand myself. Uh, so about uh, the Indian guy who talks about the situation of the farmer, um, he's a very well-educated person and he noticed that in his country and especially in South India, uh, the farmers suffer from poverty to the point of being forced to eat uh, mud uh and he wants to help them uh recover their dignity and and to get out of poverty by having a reliable and, and sustainable income and um the the indian farmers are in a constant state of struggle against the climate and the the climate is a determination of of of, of the world soul to speak like hegel so uh, the totality of all earthly conditions uh, condition precisely the, the success or failure of farmers. So they are not responsible for, for their own failure. It is the, 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 the entire climate of the earth which brings about the rise and fall of and the success and failure of farmers in, in less economically and technologically developed countries. And uh, this makes life impractical unpredictable for the farmers and there are high rates of suicide so people are so desperate that they are willing to kill themselves and to to reject life because the conditions are so abhorrent and so difficult that they choose to negate themselves which is an act of of, of will in a sense um, to stop the pain and to stop the suffering they self-negate radically and he said, God caused it. God will solve it. Uh, hopefully is right. But the only salvation that God can bring to mankind is a rational speech explaining why things are the way they are. And the more people understand themselves as being determined by what Hegel calls the logical ID, the absolute ID, the more they, they realize their unity with God, and this is what we call bliss, and it is the liberation from the bondages of earthly existence. But the question of whether God has the power to fix the economic situations and the, the economic troubles of, 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 of world poverty, I don't know that if, I'm not sure that if he can, but uh, in a dialectical fashion, um, the poverty and the hardships of, of Indian conditions of existence among farmers produces, exemplified by this man, which is educated and apparently is a scientist, the will to help others. So I hate saying this because it sounds like uh, stupid wisdom, but poverty brings about its own dialectical negation by enabling uh, 
highly intelligent people who have grown up in, a, in, a, in an environment of poverty to will to help their fellow men and, and by feeling useful for the other, they feel uh, an aggrandizement uh, of the self, they feel a, a higher sense of self and they, they in the brain it releases chemicals which gives a sense of pleasure. We, we love the image of ourselves helping others. When, when we help an other which is in need, it gives us a, a sense of self-worth. So, yeah. And he, apparently, he, he um, rejoined and, and gathered together engineers, scientists, and to try to create a solution, and a sustainable um, solution to, to prevent the harmful effects of, of farming on the, the Indian uh, farmers. And I have an anecdote. Uh, in the right-wing, far-right European nationalist spheres, there is a will to create self-sustainable farming um, uh, communities and, and to become permaculture uh, farmers and to create uh, a, a self-autonomous, uh, sovereign uh, 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 permaculture farm. And these same people who are in this mindset, the right wing, uh, sometimes pagan, or they are mostly pagan, who want to create an autonomous farm, they are attracted by spirituality and in their search for spiritual roots and connections, they are attracted by ancient Aryan wisdom and some of them are go into, into um, the Bhagavad Gita or the, the Vedas or the Upanishad and the, 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 the religious teachers of India. So this is some sort of a, a dialectical irony that at two opposite uh, uh, extremes of the world, we have uh, white European pagans who who would like to live as autonomous farmers and who would like to rediscover the the, the mysticism and the, and the spirituality of Indian teachings, which are Aryan partly, and at the other end of the planet we have li living farmers who want to establish a sustainable uh, living lifestyle by using the wisdom from the West, which is economic, technological development, organization, management, uh, finance. So it's a reverse image in a way. And the, 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 the West, in its lack of spirituality, is using Indian Eastern spirituality to try to, to reestablish a sense of identity and a sense of, of worth. And the East, India, is using uh, Western wisdom in the form of, of, of economics, like I said, to try to re-establish a sense of, of, of dignity and worth. So that's a, a dialectical uh, mirror, in a way. And, um, yeah, uh, if I wanted to make a, a, a wise remark that I myself don't like, I would say that hardships is the the, the, the condition of the dialectical bringing forth of, of overcoming the hardships and, and, and difficulties in life enable um, to overcome them and, and, and bring about a balance by creating people willing to solve the problems and having the courage and the intelligence and the, the know-how to solve the problems. But this kind of wisdom is, is quite dubious to me, but I know that in the absolute, it might be true. So, yeah. Um, and then I would like to comment on Sadhguru, which is apparently a, a, a mystical teacher who appeared on Joe Rogan's show. And if I had to be honest with myself, I would say that this experience of watching an Indian wise leader, a spiritual teacher, being invited in an in a, in a American or Western uh, radio show broadcast on, 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 on the internet is amazing in the sense that it, it creates a, 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 a sense of wonder. It's a meeting of two cultures and um, I know broadly that Indian wisdom is, is partly influenced by Aryan texts and Aryan knowledge and that the, 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 the modern Indians, at least in, in the northern part of India, have Aryan features or, or predominantly Nordic features, although their skin is, is rather dark, the features of their face are Caucasian and, and even sometimes European. And uh, I am prejudiced 
racially, I try not to have any racial hatred, but in my development I have been hugely influenced by, by racial prejudices and bias, so I cannot help but uh, take into consideration the, 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 the racial and ethnic aspect of people. I know it, it, it is bad in, 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 in the absolute, but it is part of the process of consciousness becoming conscious of itself, so yeah. And he seems to be happy and peaceful, and he talks about the need that we have in the West, especially of chemicals, in order to solve our problems. And I learned by reading a neurobiologist that uh, when the chemical balance of our brain, when the, the, the neural circuits, the neural structure of the connections, electromagnetic and, and chemical structures within our brain are balanced, we experienced positive emotions. And I have an idealist view of reality in a sense that I believe that the neural structure of the chemicals within our brain or, or the, the disharmony or the dissymmetry, the lack of symmetry within the, the chemical structure of, of the movement within the, the, the neurons in our brain causes us to experience fear, anxiety, pain, depression, and also joy, happiness, love, and etc. But in my view, the structure is something immaterial. It's a form. And the way I see things the state of our body produces ideas, but in, in, in the other way around, the, the state of our ideas produce uh, changes in our bodies. So the idea that chemistry can solve all the problems is some sort of, is some sort of inverted uh, theology because, truth be told, it is the mindset that we have and the ideas that we adopt and the the thinking that, that we let penetrate our mind and, and the ability to, to grasp speculative truths which brings chemical balance to our brain. The mind and the body are connected. Mind and matter are, 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 are in unity, but the mind has the priority over matter. And, and I believe that when we experience great thoughts, when we, we achieve understandings, when we, we connect the dots between various phenomena, various events, when we achieve a holistic sense of knowledge, uh, we experience joy and happiness. At least that's how I experience it. The more I understand the world, the more joyful I am. And um, yeah, uh, he says that uh, yeah, he, he, he has a, an intuitive understanding that the idea that chemistry is, is the, the solution to all mental problems is wrong because it's partly true, but it's also an inverted view of things. Uh, the true solution... <laughs> To, 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 to solving problems is thinking correctly. It's a Spinozian process. Is the more you get proper ideas about the state of things, the more you grasp speculative ideas, which are ideas which produce a feeling of well-being within oneself. And then he, he distinguishes the, the body, the mind, and the emotions, and what he calls the life energy, and what he defines as pleasant experiences consist in, 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 in vocabulary and terminology as health, when the body is in a pleasant state of mind, or pleasure, or peace, or joy, or love, or compassion, blissfulness, and ecstasy. And all these words are different modes of the relationship between our intellectual, which is immaterial, um, structure of our mind and, and our chemical balance within the body, and the relationship between the mind and the body, uh, the emotions and the thoughts that we have and how they mutually and reciprocally determine one another is, is, is a subject which is being inquired and investigated by modern neurobiology. And what we, we call all these pleasant uh, emotions or thoughts or state of being are a reflection of the state of our mind. And we have to think proper thoughts in order to liberate ourselves and to experience a peaceful state of being. And uh, through my videos, I'm trying to, to enlighten others and, and to show them uh, the logical process at work in the world. And the more they understand themselves, the more they will be joyful in spite of the hardships of existence. And this is, I don't know if it's the only way, but it is one way towards salvation. And that's what I'm tra trying to, to bring about to to myself in a very selfish manner, but I can I understood that I cannot self myself without saving others because I am interconnected with, with the whole of being and my my happiness is dependent on, upon the happiness of others, and so is my 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 misery. So I am one with being, and I can on, only liberate myself by liber liberating the whole of being, and uh, that's what I wanted to to 